Minutes after the federal appeals court dealt that blow to the Trans Mountain Pipeline, Kinder Morgan shareholders voted more than 99 percent in favor of approving the sale of the project to the federal government. This shareholder still believes Ottawa has the best chance of getting the deal done. It's a battle. It's a stupid one, but it's a battle, right? And they're going to have to fight it. In, in order to get to go through. But Alberta Premier Rachel Notley will likely wear the political scars. After all, she's been pitching the idea of what she calls social license, pay a carbon tax, get pipelines built. Trans Mountain was the big one and it is being denied. And this was outside of the control of the Alberta government. This was nothing that they did or did not do, but Rachel Notley will get the blame for this. As if on cue, opposition leader Jason Kenney called for Ottawa to appeal the ruling to the Supreme Court and for the Alberta government to repeal its carbon tax. We call on Alberta's NDP to withdraw the carbon tax, which supposedly was gonna get pipelines built. A furious Rachel Notley addressed the province and Canada with this stunning announcement. With the Trans Mountain halted and the work on it halted, until the federal government gets its act together, Alberta is pulling out of the federal climate plan. Notley's government was so convinced Trans Mountain was a go, it factored revenues from the pipeline into its budget forecast. They will get built because they're important for Canada, they're important for Alberta. But no bitumen flowing through the stalled pipeline project means less revenues flowing through to the provincial and federal coffers. Scotia Bank pegs our inadequate pipeline capacity to about a $15 billion cost to Canada. So that certainly affects our industry in a very meaningful way. We are losing investment, which we otherwise would get here in Canada. So there will be immense pressure from Alberta to Ottawa to get the process going again quickly. Okay, Carolyn Dunn joins me now from Calgary. Carolyn, I'm, Alberta's far along already when it comes to climate change. What should we make of the fact that now Alberta wants to pull out of the federal plan? Well, it's like some kind of acrimonious divorce all of a sudden. You know, Alberta is going to keep its controversial carbon tax, but they're just not going to play ball with the federal government until this is fixed. In addition, Rachel Notley says that she wants the federal government to make an immediate appeal to the Supreme Court of Canada and call an emergency session of Parliament to get this review process fixed. It may be a bit of wishful thinking, of course, but she thinks if all of those things happen, that there is a chance that construction could restart in the new year. Okay, how could all of this affect her, hurt her, help her politically? Well, <laughs> hurt her, for sure. You know, even if the federal government fast-tracks the consultation and the application process, there are some real doubts about whether that's going to happen in time to help Rachel Notley politically. She was already facing an uphill battle in the upcoming spring election, but she was planning on campaigning as the premier who finally got the Trans Mountain Pipeline built. Now, that seems unlikely, Rosie. Okay, Carolyn, thanks for this. Carolyn Dunn is in Calgary tonight.